Hi everyone, today I will draw a character that I have done before, so you can see how I do it. I will import the character now. This character I made so long time ago. I don't know where did I put it? Maybe in this one. Here is it. Let's see which character we will create today. Hmm. Let's pick Messi. This is a character I created for a football channel before. Let's first create a group and name the character. Next, create another group. We will proceed to draw the character's head first. Create a layer in the head group to draw the character's face. Select the Add Point tool to draw. When we draw we should draw as few points as possible. Turn off the eye of this layer. After drawing, you choose the color picker to get the object color and turn on the stroke. Adjust the stroke width. Here I choose the parameter as 3. Select the transform points tool to readjust the vector points. Name this vector and put it in a group. Create a new layer. So we can draw the beard and mask the beard in the group we just created. After drawing, we adjust the beard to make it beautiful. And put color on it. Now we will mask the beard with the face. We double click on masking. Hide all. Appy. OK. Double click left mouse on vector mask. Go to masking. Exclude strokes for the face contour to show up. Not covered by beard. Next is the nose. We still use the add point tool to draw. Retouch the nose similar to the face. Here we will hide the edge. Select the tool hide edge left click on the stroke segment that we want to hide. Add nose shading similar to the beard shading. In this new character, I will adjust a bit so it won't be exactly the same.
Next we draw the eyes for the character. Create a layer in the eye group. Select the draw shape tool. Select the circle to draw the iris. Left click on the iris where you want to change the color. Drag and select the color you want to change. Use the line width tool to select the point you want to enlarge or reduce the line. Next create a vector to draw in the eyes. The eyeball is also masked like the nose. The left eye is similar to the right eye. Just copy and edit a bit. Now let's make the character's mouth. Here I have created a set of mouths in the library. You can create your own mouth set and put it in like me. I will arrange this mouth group under the eyes and nose. Next we draw the eyebrows. Create a new layer and give it a name. Here I only create three points, so that when rigging we will easily control vector points easily and quickly. Select the Create Shape tool left click on that vector segment. Left click select create shape to color the vector segment. Pick color in the stroke box. Increase the width parameter to the size you want. The eyebrow looks a bit long. So I'll shorten it a bit. I will stroke this eyebrow by copy this vector layer and paste it into the same place. Then change the stroke color and increase the width value to be larger than the layer below. Click select shape. Left click on the vector layer we're working on. Then hold alt. Click the down arrow to bring this stroke layer down. The left eyebrow is done. Let's duplicate this layer to get the right eyebrow. Click on Flip Layer Horizontally to invert the object, then again use the Transform Layer tool to move the object to the position you want. Now draw the character's hair. Create a new layer and name it. We will put this layer under the eyebrows. The process of drawing the hair is similar to drawing the nose and face for the character.
Here the hair layers are in wrong order. I will click on select shape select the object that I want to move. Then hold alt. Press the up or down arrow to arrange the objects. Next we draw two sides of the hair near the ears. One of the right part of the hair will be above the character's face layer and the rest of the hair will be hidden by the character's face. So this part of the hair will be below the face layer. The left side of the face will be visible so we will adjust it. Now let's draw the bottom layer of the hair. Adjust the face a bit to balance it out. Continue drawing the top layer of the hair. We're almost done with the character's head. Only the ears remain. Let's count in you.
Here we should remove the line. It will be more beautiful. The character's head is finished then the character's body. I'll copy the characters so they can be seen more easily. First draw the character's neck. I'm using this channel script toolkit, MoU33. To draw the body we repeat the same process. I create inline points in the middle of the body, so that when the character bends it looks nice. Adjust the vectors to make them look better. Click on Select Shape Tool, then select the object and pick the color you want to change. Select all the object area points to change color, then create shape and pick the color to change. Do the same with the horizontal stripes of the shirt. Next is the butt. I will attach it to the body here. I will make two circles to create the butt using these two circles. What I mean is. I will make it easy for you guys to understand. Dot and this is how I do it. It's a lot easier for me to rotate the leg joints. I'll show you how to do it.
The butt is done. I will take the circle on the right side of the butt as the top joint of the left right. This will help you when turning your legs it will not be deviated and one thing is for sure, it is very easy and beautiful too. Looks like the left leg is better than the one I just made. I'll make it look like the left leg. It's better this time. Next I will draw the thigh part. The drawing is similar to what I did before. Just follow me. Please turn off both fill and stroke this time. Please create two points in the middle of this segment to create the joint easier. The calf part is the character's socks, so we will pick the color of the socks next to it to color it.
The thigh part one will draw more vector points and select the area to be changed. If the point is not in the part to be changed, we choose select points. Hold alt and drag the left mouse button to sweep over the point to be removed. Make a copy for the other leg. Please choose the center point, so that the movement and scale will be more accurate. I create the center point by pressing T and select the object, then press G. The points will automatically be created and there is also the center point. Click the center point selector. The shortcut is O and select the center of the object. Press the M key and hold shift to move the object. The character's left leg is behind the right leg, so I'll make it a little bit smaller. Let's scale these two vector points down so that its fill does not obscure the line of the object below. Lastly, I will draw the hands. You can draw either the hands first or the leg first. The hand drawing steps are the same as when I draw the legs. Now I will put the hand styles into the character. I took a screenshot to get the color for the hand. I will paste it here. Please turn on the color guide. Then pick the color on the arm we just pasted in. Select all the hands that needs to color change. Click on the Edit Colors circle box to change the color of the hand to the color I picked before. Then press OK to finish changing the color of the hand.
Remember to take these hands out of the group. Then you turn off both fill and stroke to draw a frame that overlaps each hand layers. Please import your hands style like this. The hands and forearms. We should put them in the same group for convenience. Make a copy for the other hand. So I finished drawing the messy character. Sorry for my English. Sometime it's a bit unclear, but I'm trying my best. Hope you guys can understand what I'm doing. Dot dot. Thank you for watching this clip of mine.